Okay, um, if you can read, or as you can read by the title, today is another hair video. Sorry, I've been slacking on these videos lately. Um, I promise to have more um, hair care videos up uh, in the future. Um, but today's video is going to be all about protective styles. Summer's coming up. Uh, depending on where you live, the heat can be like crazy ridiculous. I know, like, um, in my hometown, it's already like a hundred and something degrees. Anyways, for summertime, protective styles are always the best way to go. You want to keep as much heat out of your hair as possible. Um, simply because you don't want to have excess heat damage. Regardless of what anyone says, um, you put flat iron on your hair, then a, or a blow dryer, then a flat iron. Um, even with the heat protectant, you're still going to go outside and the heat is going to be beaming down on your hair, which is only adding more heat. Um, so, um, I'm going to show you guys a few hairstyles that you can do to keep your hair cute, but lowering your risk of damaging it. First thing is going to be um, flexi rods. Flexi rods look like this. They're just a little, a long stick that bends. You can bend them any way you want. You can turn them, they don't break. Uh, that's why they're called flexi rods. They come in different sizes. Um, the I don't remember what size these are, but the different colors uh, will show you the different sizes. Um, based on what size curls you want, you uh, that's how you choose the size. These will give you kind of uh, medium sized curls. Um, the smaller you will go, the tighter the curls will be, more like spiral curls or Shirley Temple curls. The bigger you go, the more wavier um, the curls will be. So it's all based on what you want. Um, I'm going to show you a picture now of my hair and the outcome of how my hair was when I used flexi rods. The next hair style would be a bun. Um, all of you should know what a bun is. Uh, not, I mean, you can do your hair like you take all your hair, you twist it, wrap it around, stick a hair tie on it. But this is the bun that I use. This is actually a sock bun. I just took one of uh, two black socks, cut them, made this bun. But if you do not know how to do these, you can uh, go to your local beauty supply through Sally's or whatever, and they have pre-made buns. I'm going to show you a picture of a uh, bun. <laughs> the next style uh, would be a braid out. And um, I actually got a few requests on how I did my hair in the last video, my video about my trip that's coming up. Um, and we are officially eight days and counting. Um, but anyways, um, yeah, so basically what I do is that I part my hair however I want my hair. Um, like if I want it in a side part or if I want it right in the middle of my forehead or however I want it. Um, and I just part it in four and I corn roll them down. And I do it on dry hair. You can do it on wet hair, but I found it easier to do it on dry hair. And the next picture I'm going to show you, it is actually not a picture of me. Um, it's a picture of a lady from Hairlista. And she, I did get permission from her to use her picture in this video. So if you're watching, thank you so much. And here's her picture. by far the best freaking braid out I have ever seen. Oh my god, you have to check out her website. I will um, link you to her site below. She has the prettiest hair. Her braid out come out so amazing. I'm so jealous because no matter what I do, my braid out never look as big and full and pretty as hers. And yeah. Next hairstyle would be um, roller sets. You can use um, big rollers or you can use smaller rollers. You can also use these. They're called satin rollers and it has, it's like a regular roller, but it has a piece of satin material on it. All satin does is keeps your hair from drying out and uh, which causes breakage. Basically what you do, you wash your hair, um, apply leave-in, apply satin lotion, you roll your hair up in curlers, in which I will show you a picture next. 
and you sit under a dryer for about 30 minutes or you can um, let it air dry which will take you a very long time so I wouldn't recommend air drying but you can if you choose to. Um, then you take your hair out of the rollers and then um, you can leave it like that if you want to or you can choose to wrap your hair which I will show you a picture of your hair being wrapped. Um, and then you just stick a scarf on it and then once you're done you just comb it out and it gives you more body and that big flowy feeling. Another style is sewing. Next thing is wigs. You can get a full wig, you can get a half, uh, a half wig, or you can get a lace front. Um, but those are great ways in the summertime to keep your hair safe from heat. Uh, to grow it out if you're transitioning. These are wonderful styles to use also. Um, I am currently thinking about transitioning. I don't know if I will. I've thought about it before <laughs> and I didn't fall through with it. Um, I will be 15 weeks post relaxer um, two days before my birthday. So I'm hoping that I won't chicken out and relax my hair because my birthday will be um, on a Saturday. So, um, I'm excited for that. I am thinking about transitioning, and we'll see how that goes. Um, I'll keep you guys updated on that in, in a future video. But, um, the last thing I want to tell you is you are going to wear a hairstyle that you have to um, wear overnight. Always wear a silk scarf. This is courtesy of my mom. Thanks, mom. <laughs> but um, you would just take, you would take it, wrap it over your head, and then just tie it like that. Um, and then uh, you would take one of these bonnets. This was also sent to me by my mom. Um, and uh, you just stick it on top of your head like that. Um, even if you don't wear a hairstyle that you have to wear overnight, even if it's a sewing. It's always good to sleep with a silk bonnet or a silk scarf or if you don't like to sleep with things on your head, um, a silk pill a satin pillowcase, which my mom has just sent me also. Um, so yes, um, just take good care of your hair in the summertime. I know summertime calls for vacation and um, that means water, chlorine, washing your hair, um, dyeing your hair. Most, most people dye their hair during the summer. I hope this helped. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know. I will do my best to answer them um, as accurately as I can. Keep in mind, I am not a professional hair stylist. I've never went to school for hair. This is, these are just things that I've used personally in my life that has helped me. Um, so I thought I would show it to you in hopes that it will help you. Um, yeah, so don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, check out all the links below, um, and I'll talk to you guys later. Take it, wrap it up, not over your face.